What's up guys, Desire here, uh, today I'm going to show you how to get um, 99 Thieving, how to get to the Rogue's Den where it's like so much XP and how to make uh, Gloves of Silence. Alright, uh, just show you the skill cape since there's a sexy motherfucker on the screen here, you know, just got a bag of flour or whatever the fuck, I don't even know. Um, so basically what you want to do, I'm just going to show you normal spells, uh, Lunars, Ancients, just change it back to this, I don't really, you know, it's just easier to click on Skilling, um, then click on Thieving, just this first one here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come over to this bread stall and you want to feed from here um, and it'll give you coins, just random amounts. You want to feed from here up until level 20, okay, it'll disappear but then you just wait until it's back. Okay, then at level 20, um, you're going to want to look for the silk stall, which is right there. Um, and if that goes out, there's one up there, but you know, you just stay here and just keep doing it and blah, 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 blah right. Uh, then what you do at 35 is you do um, the first stall, which is right there. Um, and you just feed this all the way up until um, level 50. So you start at 35 all the way up to level 50. And then you do the silver stall, which is up here. Um, just feed it this. Then you feed it the silver stall all the way up until level 65. You go back down here. Shit, I've started fighting with the guard. You go back down here and steal from space stall. And then the space stall up until level 75. And then at 75 you come over here and do the gem stall. And then you'll keep doing this uh, 70, uh, this gem still all the way up until 95 thieving. It does take quite a while, but it's 15k a uh, thief, so it's pretty fast, um, apart from the fact that it reloads. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the gloves of silence, and then this will show you the better XP. Okay, so what you want to do is click skilling. Uh, more uh, skilling zones, more skilling zones, hunter. I think you need about like maybe 70 hunter for this, it could be more, but it isn't really that high. Or it in fact it's less than 70 I'm sure uh, you go to teleport to another hunting area and then you go to the falconry which in fact I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it's 69 could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm pre I don't know right, uh, you just go more and then you go to the falconry hunting area um, then you come up here talk to Matthias um, go to his, his trade and then buy the falconer's glove it's about 60k you wield it um, you have to take your primaries off your primary weapon, whatever. Uh, you wield it, and you want to catch a dark cabot. Uh, just catch that. Retrieve it. I obviously got it because I'm like ninety. Uh, hunter, and then all you do is use on oh, a needle and thread. Uh, you buy that out of general store at home. Make one, and it'll give you gloves of silence. All right. Now the reason you need gloves of silence is they give they give you a twenty percent um, thieving bonus, and they give you like a hundred percent like a twenty percent XP, and a hundred percent like you can't get caught. Um, bonus like it's just like they, they can't hit you when you thieve men or the, the thing I'm going to show you next so now what you do is you teleport to castle walls now this bit's going to take a while because I'm going to have to run there but quite a lot of people don't know how to run there so I'll just run it through um, and then hopefully it's not too boring I'll try and speak at the same time um, so basically if you are going for 99 hunter eh, no, 99 thieving it's quite like it seems like a good idea to use an auto clicker or use something like that but please don't um, it's only 13 mil XP um, it's not as if it's like you, you don't get much from it. You make a bit of money, but not too much. It's not even. It's not worth ruining. Like you know what I mean. It's not worth like cheating or uh, using something that you shouldn't just so you can get a thirteen mil stat. Um, it's not very, not very good. Um, so I would definitely wouldn't advise that because if you're caught, you probably would get like punished for it. Um, so don't do what I've done and run all the way there. Just stay up to the left and run up here past the maze. Um. I'll just run up here quickly. I don't really know what to say. This is quite boring just watching someone run, but you know, do that. Can I do it and run? Let's see. Can you do it and run? No, you can't. Right, so just go up here, go around to your right, and hopefully you know where I'm at. So you just go to Castle Wars, run out up here, or it's just up for Yanu. Um, computer crash type, cheers. Then you run along here. Ah, this is quite, quite the run. Um, you just run along this way and then down to the right at the end of this turn. Um, yep, and then you get here. Then you want to go into the pub and you'll find the rogues. Um, it's just right, like literally here, straight down here. And you find the rogues. And not a lot of people know about this. That's exactly why I've included it in this this tutorial. 
Um, it is a one to nine, one to ninety nine hunter guide, but it's also just you know for us slight things. And all you do is right click and pickpocket rogue. Um, it gives you twenty eight, twenty six k xp per pick pickpocket. You can never be hurt. Um, without the gloves of silence, you get hurt eight damage. Um, but they take twenty six k and it's twenty six k every like two seconds. So this is definitely the place to go if you're going for two bill xp, two hundred mil xp, whatever you're going for. Um, the cash is not bad. It's like eight k per steal. Um, but it's more the XP that we're worried about. Uh, so yeah, I've been desire. It's been one in nine uh, thieving, including how we get the gloves of silence and um, how we get to the rogues. Then, well, the the rogues on it. So uh, thanks, and hopefully this guide helped you.